Hello and welcome to EG1000. In this tutorial, I'm going to guide you how to draw the impeller of the pump in the project tool. As you already know, the pump must have a maximum impeller diameter of 60mm. And it is driven by a shaft of 8mm diameter. There are many types of the pump impellers. In here, I just show you a, a very popular impeller design. That is the open impeller. So you can see here, the outer diameter of the impeller is 60 millimeters. And I use the loft command to get a curve to direct the water to go to this side. So you know, if you have uh, the shaft connecting here and it rotates clockwise, that means if you look from this side, it will go anti-clockwise. And therefore, it will suck the water to the, the other end and also push it into the outlet of the impeller this way. The second type of the impeller is the closed impeller. When you can have two planes that limit the water flow, the water volume will be limited inside this cell by two planes and two blades. You know, according to the research, about five to seven blades is good for a small pump. If you have too many blades, that means the volume will be very tiny, tiny, and therefore the pump flow may be unstable and discontinuous. If you have just a few of blades, maybe two or three, so the water volume will be very big in comparison with the thickness of the small thickness of the blade. So therefore it may cause some crack. Especially when you have the small connection right over here. And there are many other combination or vari variations of the impellers. For example, uh, this one I have from uh, last year students. They try to have a small connection over here and thick thickness over here for their closed impeller. Or you can have this one, which has two parts. The first part on the top try to direct the water from the inlet into the pump. And the second part try to get the water get up to the outlet this way yep now i just try to draw a very basic uh, impeller for you first of all i must create a sketch first now which one i go for maybe i go for a basic closed impeller or semi close impeller. So this way I will have this one is 60 millimeters. And inside here, I should have an axis for the shaft to be connected to. So for example, should be 19 millimeters. And now I need to draw the blades. As you already know, uh, we have the clockwise uh, shaft movement so therefore this movement of the sap from this side should be anti-clockwise okay now i just extrude i extrude this one and this one for two millimeter yep to the other side should be minus two okay now, I make the sketch visible because I want to extrude the center. And I try to extrude this part to the other side and should be joined. And I extrude it for about 10 millimeter, for example, like that. Yep. So here will be the axis. Now I need the horn for the shaft. 
So click on the hole and move it to here. Um, let's just see. I think I can get a bit a bit further into so I have more connections. So it should be eight millimeters and the diameter is six point two. 8.2 I mean so yep look good to me now now I need to draw the blades and then extrude it so uh, for example in here I can try to draw on this side yep so I can use the arc or I can use uh, line to draw that but I prefer the arc draw from here to here and get the connection to this side so here is my uh, blades now i want to offset it to the other side so offset it to the other side you know the thickness of the blades is very important if you get too teeny tiny one so you going to have some crack later for safety here i set it for example going to be three millimeters you can set it more if you want to now I just trim the unnecessary part yep now I have my body here I can just extrude it for example 19 millimeter yep and I make a new body because I want to rotate it later Now I need to see how far I go. Okay, 19 millimeters may be good for me. You know that the inner diameter of the outlet is 15 millimeters. So you have to select a close number to uh, that diameter of the, of the outlet. Okay, I think it's good to me now. Okay. Now I already have one blade and I need to rotate it aside. So I can just using create and pattern and circular pattern. Now I select the body I want to rotate about. About the axis, I may use the default axis. So axis, I going to the default axis. And the number of blades is, for example, have six and I go around the full circle. Yep. So here I have a semi-open or semi-closed impeller. In some situation, you may need to do the uh, change of the uh, cross-section adder. For example, in this one, you can see that I have loft from this cross-section error to this one. How to do that? So first of all, you may need a uh, new design first. And now I create a sketch, for example, like this. And I have a rectangle, for example. And this is my uh, base. Now I try to have a new uh, cross-section area on the other side, for example, like this. And I set it to about, yep, 80 is fine for me. Uh, I actually don't care much about the distance at the moment. Now, on the new one, I'm trying to draw a new sketch and I get a circle, for example, like this. Yep. And now I can just use the loft command to get from the first one to the second one, something like this. So this way, you can generate a smooth transition from one cross section to another cross section area. This helps you to draw this impeller smoothly. Yeah, I have different cross section from one side to another side. Yeah, I hope my tutorial help you a bit in drawing your impeller. Thank you very much for attention and see you in the next tutorial.